Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of representing numbers, specifically how we can represent numbers with expanded form, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we have uh, a number and we just want to write it with just digits. We just want to use two digits to write a number. That actually has a name and it's called the standard form. So the standard form is when you just take a number and you just write it with digits. So let's say we have the number 64. Well, we would write it with a 6 and a 4. And the reason we know that this 6 means more than this 4, or is worth more than this 4, is because of place value. So let's see what this looks like in expanded form. Expanded form takes the same number, in this case we're looking at 64, and it expands it, or it makes it a little bit bigger by looking at each place value. So this 6 is not really worth 6. It's in the tens place. And this 4, it's worth 4 because it's in the ones place. So what expanded form does is it takes those and it shows you what those are. So let's take this 6 tens. If we skip count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 6 tens is really worth 60. And these four ones, well, they're just worth 4. So expanded form lets you see the value of each digit by adding them all together. So 64 is the same as 60 plus 4. And then finally, sometimes we can represent numbers with base 10 blocks. So base 10 blocks. And sometimes we have just two-digit numbers like this. In a moment, we'll do a three-digit number, and that involves a new base 10 block. But base 10 blocks are pretty simple. You get a little cube if you're doing it in real life, but if you're drawing it, sometimes you can put a dot. That equals 1. And then you get a, a 10 rod, and it's a long, skinny rod, and that equals 10. So if I wanted to show... 64. Well, I would need six of these 10 rods. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. And then for these four ones, well, I would just put 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's how I can represent the number 64 in standard form, in expanded form, and with my base 10 blocks. Let's just draw a line here and let's make a new number. So I told you we were going to look at a three digit number. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's look at 108. So 108. Well, once again, I'm looking at that in standard form. Standard form is when I'm just using digits. So I have eight ones, I have zero tens. And then the place right next to the tens, that's the hundreds place. That's why I say I have 108. So how can I look at that in expanded form? Well, I need to once again take each place value and expand them out or stretch them out. So 100 is, well, I can write that with one and then two zeros. That's how I write the number 100. And then remember we add an addition sign to add up the values. Now here's the tricky part about 108. You see how there's nothing in my tens? I have zero tens. We normally don't need to add zero because it doesn't change the answer. So instead of saying 100 plus zero plus eight, we're just gonna say 100 plus eight. You can skip zeros when you're looking at expanded form. And finally, the base 10 blocks. Here's the difference with the base 10 blocks. If you get 10 10 rods and you stick them together, you get a 100 flat. And we're going to need that 100 flat for my base 10 blocks. Because I've got 100, so I'm going to draw a 100 flat. And it just looks like a square. So draw a nice square. And that represents my 100. Now I need 8 ones. I'm not going to need any 10s because remember I have a 0 in the 10s place. So rather than drawing all eight in one big column, typically you'll do five, and then you'll start with another column. And so I've got 108 in standard form, expanded form, and base 10 blocks.